Shalom. All praises due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachak Wadash. Double honors to the elect apostle, bishops, elders, our great millstone, and we're well. Shalom to like Aki out there, do his work as a servant in truth and not for vain glory. <clears throat> in season and out of season. Okay, uh, I just want to bring out just one scripture. Uh, you know, the time of Esau's rulership is at an end. All the signs, uh, all the prophecies, I should say, all the prophecies, uh, you know, the prophecies are come past from the Bible. Okay, you know, this is the book that we, that the Israelite man is supposed to be into, man. You know, but two thirds of our people into under every other philosophy under the sun, every religion under the sun, every other idol, okay, under the sun, okay, which are the idols, the gods of the other heathen nations, all right, you know, but um, it's the time of Esau's end, man. It's just Esau, he's. He's going down, man, you know, you know, so let's just go into this one scripture. This is Wisdom of Solomon, the 12th chapter and the 22nd verse. It says, Therefore, whereas thou dost chasten us, because, let me get it. Let me get it, actually. All right, let me get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have the scripture right here. Okay. Let's get it. You know, the Lord said he, 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 he punished us. Okay. So let's get it right here. This is the reason why. Amos, the third chapter, second verse. Oh, matter of fact, I, I read the first verse, Amos the third chapter in the first verse. Hear this word that Yahweh hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered throughout North, Central, and South America. Scattered throughout all the various Western islands and throughout the world. Okay, James 1 and 1 to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you scattered through the four corners of the earth. Okay? It says, Hear this word that Yahweh hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, So it's all the 12 tribes, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're the Lord's chosen people and the Most High is speaking against you. Okay, why? Let's read it. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So the Mosai Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Mosai in the Lashwan Kodash, which means holy tongue in the Hebrew. And the son's name is Yahweh Shai, the Redeemer. Okay, the Deliverer. That's going to deliver the elective nation of Israel, the elective you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out of captivity under the so-called white man. Out of America, which is the main captivity, and from all over the four corners of the earth, and from the other heathen nations as well. You only have I known of all the families of the earth, meaning Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai gave us his, he made a covenant with us. The nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You will, you are the Israelites. Okay? All right? In the Hebrew, Yashar Allah. Yah means he. Shah means prince. And Allah means power. Yashar Allah. Okay? He is the prince of the power. All right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? The Mosai Yahweh only knew you because he made a covenant with you. The word covenant means agreement. 
He made an agreement with you to be his holy chosen people. To follow his laws, statutes, and commandments of when you read in the Bible. Okay? All right? Thou shall not have any gods before me. What did the nation of Israel do, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans do when you read throughout the Bible? Throughout the history of the Bible? You follow, you worship the idols of the heathen nations. Okay? That's just one of the laws. There's 613 laws, man. All right? And we broke them all. All right? So now we're in this captivity. We're being punished by Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's why we living in the ghettos and the slums. That's why women don't have respect for their men. The, the so-called black woman doesn't have respect for the so-called black man. The Latino and Native American women don't have respect for the Latino and Native American men. That's why they're a bunch of harlots and hoes. Okay? That's why there's murder amongst our people, man. The shedding of innocent blood. The shedding of blood amongst our people, man. That's why... We're under the thumb. We're under the yoke of the so-called white man, mainly in of the heathen nations, the Arabs and Africans and East Indians and Chinese and so forth, but mainly the so-called white man here in America, all right, and all over the earth, man. You only have I known of all the families. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Who are the other families of the earth? The heathen nations. Okay. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's why we being punished right now, man. All right. That's why we're in the ghettos and the slums, man. All right. That's why amongst our women, the uh, abortion rate is the highest amongst any other heathen nation in the earth, in the world. Mainly amongst the so-called black women, man. Because those are punishment. That's why uh, you have uh, uh, black on so-called black on black crime. Thy eyes shall be evil towards thy brother. Just read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, man. It goes into it, sort of the 15th verse, and it'll tell you all these curses shall come upon us if we don't follow the law, statute, commandments, and obey Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and his law, statutes, and commandments. All right? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Okay? Iniquity. It's sins that we commit against Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. What sin? What sin? The breaking of the law when you read in the Bible. For sin is the transgression of the law. Statue commandments that Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai gave to us as a people, man. As a nation. His chosen holy people. Okay? All right? So let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon, 12th chapter and the 22nd verse. I just wanted to, to, to explain it. That's all. That's all. Well, yeah, I guess it's, let me go up. The Wisdom of Solomon. Go down. Let me see. <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon, 12th chapter, and 22nd verse. You know, so therefore, whereas thou dost chasten us, and I read to you why the Most High chasten the 
the nation of Israel. He's chastened us. The Lord said he, 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 he chastened those whom he loved. All right? You know, it's like you got a son or a daughter, you know, right? And they're little kids and they they run up and they uh turn the stove on at night, right? So the whole house could burn down, everybody could get killed, but but you don't do nothing. You you don't chasten them. It's gonna lead to their destruction. So we're Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We're their sons, man. Okay? All right. We're, we're, we're the princes of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We're the son. So, of course, if you love your son, you're going to chasten him so he don't bring forth himself to destruction, man. Okay? Therefore, whereas thou doest chasten us, thou scourgest our enemies, which is the so-called white man and all the other heathen nations, a thousand times more. Okay? So, Man, with the so-called white man going to get. With the heathen nations going to get. Because they are our enemies. The so-called white man is your enemy, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. The so-called African man, the East Indian man, the Arab man, the Polynesian man. They're, they're your enemies, man. And there's plenty of scriptures that go into it. Our enemy is going to get, our enemy is going to get scourged a thousand times more. Man, when the nation of Israel get these heathens in the kingdom, especially the so-called white man, man. Now, the scriptures say it's going to be according to Yahweh, his anger, through his son, Yahweh Shai. Man, woo! A thousand times more. Wait a minute, so... What happened to the so-called black man? He got a yoke put upon his neck. He got chains put upon his uh, his 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 ankles and his his wrist. Okay, all right. You know he was tortured. You know. I mean, you know the list goes on and on and on. So what you think is going to happen to the so-called white man in the heathen nations and the kingdom, man? A thousand times more. Man, <laughs> they the so-called white man in the heathen nations can't imagine, especially the so-called white man can't imagine the the the, the scourges that they gonna get, man. Okay, they put a yoke of iron around around the so-called black man's neck, you know, just in case he ran. So if if he ran. You know, they put they had bells on the ed, on the tips of them them yokes of iron, you know, and so they can hear them running, so they can bring re, retrieve them back and make their money off of him, man. Okay, this is like we gonna make money off of you heathens, the so called white man and the other heathen nations, man. You gonna bring all your goods to the nation of Israel, man. It's like how you did to us. Okay. All right, but the so-called white man, boy, woo, he, <laughs> ain't gonna be nothing nice for him by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. You know, so, hey, brothers, man, you know, it's it's a beautiful thing that the times that we're living in, and, uh, you know, that time is coming soon, you know, where the world is gonna change, man, Okay. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Who's Esau? The so-called white man, his race of people, man, woman, and child. Who's Jacob? Another race of people, which are the 12 tribes of Israel, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, woman, and child, and one man, woman, and son and daughter. Rejoice in the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Because he's going to scourge our enemies a thousand times more than the punishment that he gave us for breaking his law, statutes, commandments. And with that, hope you're edified. Shalom.